Andy is my best friend ever. Andy's a great guy. He's just he's real easy to get along to um, get along with. Oh, Andy's my brother. I've seen him in a bunch of bands, but uh, this one he really stuck with. And then one day I told him I'd record him. We recorded him, and I said if uh, you know if anything happens with any of the other band members, let me know and I'll sub for him. And uh, I started playing bass for him, and that's how I got in the band through Andy. Andy's a sick, great singer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, he's the goofy one. He's the one that drives a big van with a trailer. And I guess I could, I kind of look up to him in a way at times, and other times he just says stuff that just. Ryan's an amazing guitar player. Uh, he doesn't have a clue about what he's playing, but what he knows, he knows the best. I look to him as maybe a father figure to me. <laughs> And Nick, I'm always close with Nick too, because I've known him my whole life. But... Well, I'm glad he's a guitar player now. I mean, our other guitar player, I'm not even going to begin on him. But Nick, I'm glad he's a guitar player. He's a good guy. He plays the guitar really swell, you know? He's a swell guitar player. He teaches guitar. He deserves the job. Yeah. Well, Nick grew up across the street from me, so I've known him my whole life. Picked up a guitar when he was about five or six, maybe, maybe seven. Really. Yeah, I took over a spot on bass. Um, but I mean, I've heard him play guitar. I've heard him play bass. He's really good. He's really good on a guitar. He's really good on bass too. But I think he can do way more on guitar than on bass. No offense to him or nothing. I don't know him that well. I give him a lot of shit. I haven't known him for long, but the while I have known him, he's a cool kid. He's pretty good at bass. He's, he's better at guitar, but he's good at bass too, because he doesn't use a pick or anything. He plays with his fingers and everything, but he's good for being a bassist for not as long as he's been in the band. I kind of feel bad about it. <laughs> I don't know. He's my friend. No one else likes him. Maybe we'll just have to get rid of him. I don't know. After being a band for a year, This Is Between Me and the Bear have garnered a hardcore fan base and following. While recording their debut album, the band is slowly pushing itself and its fan base outside of the Illinois boundaries.